so hi hi all so so we have already uh, seen that few of the steps that we need to follow to create any soft based web service using access one implementation the first step was to configure one server in the eclipse then create one new dynamic web project and then convert that dynamic web project then uh, create the pozo class or the service bean or service or implementation class or it's also called as service implementation bean so that is already there that i calculator dot java and one interface so actually our aim is to expose add and subscribe method as a web web operation as a web service okay so these two methods will take two arguments and give one output okay so the third step was to convert convert this dynamic uh, fourth step was to convert this uh, dynamic uh, web project to a soap based so web service so i already started this so this is the page where i'm currently on so so here you will see the first type that is web service type the drop down there are two options bottom down and top up so default it's top up so top up top up uh, java bean web service and bottom up top down java bean uh, web service so we'll see the difference between two in later uh, tutorial but for now just remember that in in bottom up uh, java bean first we have to develop the um, implementation class all the java classes that we need in the web service or the business logic that we have to first build okay and then and then only the wizard will be generated through the eclipse so first the code we have to build and then the wizard will be generated so this is uh, this is this approach is called bottom of java bean approach bottom of approach or contract last contract last or code first or bottom up approach okay we will see these two two types in details and now the next is service implementation we have to browse this and select what is add Our class name is calculator calculated service and this is the package or gxs one dot services so let's select that implementation class that is this one calculated service so here we have selected the service implementation class implementation class that is we consider the pojo class all the business logic everything is mentioned in this class right next is configuration next is configuration in configuration section there are three items are there the first is run server run time server run time so we have to configure the ser server here what will be the server so it is default selected as default tomcat it so our server will be tomcat it so let's select this and the next is web service runtime so what will be the implementation how this web service will be designed what how what implementation will going to use so that we have to define here web service runtime let's click on that if you see the Eclipse provides us three default implementation that is Apache Axis, Apache Axis 2, and Apache CXF 2.x. This is the default implementation provided by Eclipse. So the default one is Axis. It is already selected Apache Axis. So let's check. We are building this web service using the Axis 1 implementation. So we will choose Apache Axis. This is nothing but the Axis 1 implementation. So we have uh, selected the 
सर्विस रन टाइम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड सर्विस प्रोजेक्ट सो सर्विस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑलरेडी इट्स अ नेम ऑफ द डायनामिक वेब प्रोजेक्ट एक्सिस वन कैलकुलेटर ओके एंड द क्लाइंट टाइप वन नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग ऑन द क्लाइंट सो लेट एज एज इट इज नो नीड टू चेंज एनीथिंग एंड नाउ क्लिक ऑन फिनिश ओके वंस वी क्लिक ऑन फिनिश देर आर मल्टीपल थिंग्स आर रनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड ओके so actually this uh, implementation class is doing many things for us in this step okay so what are those things if you see here these are the things perp automatically been handled through the this step okay generate the wizdal file so it has generated one wizdal file if you see here there should be one wizdal see the directory one wizdal is generated let first refresh this project click on right click on the project and just refresh it okay and then to see the web go to web content and then wizdal see web service calculator service dot wizdal this file is got generated okay if you right click on this you can see the content of this file this is actually the wizdal file okay so first we have created the java artifacts all the java classes that we required for the project and then the wizdal file is generated based on those operations class return times everything so this approach is called as bottom up approach this is the wizdal file it's automatically generated and this is the source of that this is the wizdal file okay the next is i am not going much into this wizdal file we will see in the later tutorial i will explain in details this wizdal file the next is okay next is adding a skeleton to the web.xml so also web.xml got changed few things have been added as per the implementation that we have selected so web.xml file if you see so go to source so see apache axis servlet apache axis so this is because of the axis one implementation this is the servlet class this is xc1 xc1 implementation this has been added url pattern okay so these are all because of the xc1 implementation these all server mapping and uh, url pattern has been loaded for the xc1 implementation if you see here okay we will see the significance of all these i all these uh, tags in details in later tutorials okay so next is generated server server side service config dot wsdd file this file is al also been created let me go to that file this is the file server side server config dot wsdd file okay this has also been created i will try to explain it later this file okay next is adding implementation specific jars into the library folder earlier we have seen that the lib folder was empty now if you see the jars has been added these are the jars related to the axis one implementation so all this has been added okay so yeah this is uh, all about this step i will i will continue the next step in the next uh, tutorial thanks thanks for watching